from the East Coast Selkie Reviews. Today, we're reviewing a beer. It's called Gaffel Kolsch. And it's a Kolsch beer brewed traditionally in Cologne, Germany. This is a 1.9 full ounce can, so 16.9 ounce can. 4.8% alcohol by volume. It says since 1908. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to read this. Privat Brauerei Gaffel Becker & Co. out of Cologne, Germany. If you wanna check them out, you can go to gaffel.com. Uh, it says it's real Kolsch, only when it's from Cologne. Um, on the bottom, it's Best Buy date, 7-5-2023. Today is February 6th, 2023. So we still got some good life to this beer. So it is fresh. And uh, yeah, let's crack it open. I got my Trillium pub glass here I'm gonna pour it up into. I believe I bought, oh, that was a close one. I believe I bought a four pack of these for I think 11 bucks, so not a bad price. Um, yeah, I had that Kolsch by Bank and Bridge Brewing, uh, that beer I got from Connecticut, and I was uh, pretty impressed with that. So I was like, oh yeah, let me grab another Kolsch. Appearance of this, a little bit of a chilled haze, but it's definitely clear, brilliant. Uh, I'd say kind of, it's golden in appearance. Lots of effervescence, little bubbles you can see. Holding some good retention, about a finger and a half. White, kind of rocky on top. Tight knit bubbles on the side. Looks like it's gonna leave a nice lacing around the top of the glass. And uh, yeah, looks very solid. Looks like a clean beer. Let's go for the nose. This is very fruity. Lemon, apple. Slight hint of uh, hops. Kind of like grassy floral hops. A little bit of spicy hop aroma. Like, 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 a, like a black pepper. Good amount of breadiness as well. Some sweet cereal grains, sweet maltiness. Yeah, this smells very good. Super uh, clean on the nose, nothing offensive. Good balance of hops and malts. I like that apple note. Almost like a unsweetened apple juice or zero sugar apple juice, something like that. Or maybe a natural apple juice aroma. <laughs> Nothing like, not like loaded with sugar, but a more natural. Yeah, it smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Very apple on the palate as well. Apple and pear. Apple and pear up front, and then lemon. It's actually a little bit more orange it's like fruity orange maybe like a hint of grapefruit in there a nice floral dry aftertaste a little bit of that um spicy hop characteristic on the finish as well from the uh german hops uh, it doesn't actually say exactly what hops they use i believe cultures use noble hops correct me if i'm wrong some type of Saz or Noble Hops. Something along that realm. A 
light and drinkable, but very flavorful. Get those sweet cereal grains again. A nice uh, biscuity breadiness. Malty sweetness as well. Yeah, this is a solid drinking Kolsch. Uh, what's the ABV? 4.8%. Uh, good ABV as well. Um, Kolsch is going to be one of those beer styles that I get excited to see. Because not too many people brew them. And I just really enjoy them. And they have just like a slight difference than your typical um, Pilsner or like your typical lager. Um, I feel like they have a little bit more of like a fruitiness to them. Now I don't brew, so I'm not exactly sure the difference between a Kolsch. Um, but I'm sure it has something to do with the brewing process. Probably should have looked that up before I filmed the video. But I'll, uh, next Kolsch, maybe I'll have a little bit more information. Like I said, it's kind of a style that I'm kind of, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of new to. So I'm not really used to as much. Um, but it's a style that is starting to grow on me and I'm really enjoying. Combination's about medium. And like I said, very light body. It just has... A distinct flavor that's different from other light beers or lighter style beers and it's just very enjoyable super sessionable or four pack of these you can easily crush in one night um, rating on this I'm gonna give this beer a excuse me I'm gonna go 90 I'm gonna go 96 on this it's really good it's, uh, it's definitely up there um, as far as Kolsch's. This is definitely one that I would recommend to people if they were interested in the style or if they haven't tried the style. It's like I said, it is very drinkable. I'm definitely gonna recommend it all day. 11 bucks for a four pack. Typically for like German export beers or like German Pilsners and stuff like that, it's gonna cost you around like some you can get on the lower end of like eight bucks, which is a really good deal. But anywhere from like 10 to 12 um, is is definitely a grab. Try it out. Um, these guys have been around since 1908, apparently. And uh, they make some really good stuff. And I'm going to have to look out for more products by Gaffel. Um, just grab this. Randomly, I grabbed this in a Schwartz beer because I wanted some other different styles rather than your typical New England IPA. Uh, Imperial Stouts and Heavily Fruited Sours. It's nice to go back to styles like this. Um, and yeah, just learn more about them, drink more of them, and uh, just enjoy them. And yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else I guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Like beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.